Gonna take you on a little walk along the National Mall in Washington, D.C. And to start off on the far end here, we're at the Capitol building where Congress meets. And uh, right under those columns there, in the front of the building here is where every American president is sworn into office. Now we'll start heading across the mall. So we're on the east end of the mall right now. Capitol building and we're gonna head across the mall all the way to the West End which is the Lincoln Memorial and we'll pass by some really cool stuff like the Smithsonian Museum the Washington Monument the Jefferson Memorial and a number of other great sites And 
we'll also head off the mall and head over to the White House. away from the Capitol building. Okay, we started from the Capitol building and we are starting to get into the Smithsonian area, which is one of the great museums of the world. And it stretches on and on on both sides over here. First we've got the National Gallery of Art right here, which is a big collection of American and European art. On this side is the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, which is really, really cool. They've got rockets in there. They've got the Wright Brothers airplane in there. I believe they've got the Spirit of St. Louis, Charles Lindbergh's plane in there. I mean, it's really cool. A lot of good stuff. Farther ahead is a Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Over on the left you can see coming up ahead is the castle. That's part of the Smithsonian. Farther ahead is the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. We'll come up on all that stuff before we reach the National, or excuse me, before we reach the Washington Monument, which is the tall obelisk straight ahead. Some great museums, and the really great part too is they're all free. All the National Museums of the Smithsonian are free. And it's something that I recommend everybody take advantage of if you're in Washington, D.C. Getting closer now to the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History here on the right. And on the left is the Smithsonian Castle.
behind the Smithsonian Castle is the National Museum of African Art, followed by the National Museum of Asian Art. And over here is the National, the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. And that's a really cool one. It's got through pop culture, inventions, presidents, all sorts of everything, history of wars. It's just really an impressive museum. After the Smithsonian National Museum of American History, we come upon the African American Museum, the National African American Museum of History and Culture. And that's this building up here on the right. Right in front of us, we're getting right on top of the Washington Monument now. We're gonna make a brief new tour off the mall. Instead of heading straight, we're gonna go down this way and head straight down to the White House. And then we'll come back at the Washington Monument and can you continue down. So straight down here to the White House. Here on the left, you can see off in the distance is the White House. Well, that sucks. Right now they've got the road closed to go in front of the White House. I don't know if that means there's something going on. Probably Biden's coming or going somewhere. Anyway, it would be the next building over the White House. So I'm going to try to go around the other side and see if I can get a view of the front of it. I wanted to get both views. But anyway, here's the Treasury building. of the treasury building. Trying to work my way over the White House, but it looks like they're gonna block me up again. Maybe, I don't know, let's see. Got guards staying there, but I do see an opening over here, maybe. I don't know what's gonna happen. You can usually go in front of it on both sides. You can see the Washington Monument still off in the background over there. Coming up on the front of the White House. They do have the street right here blocked off still. They said it's going to be open again in 30 or 40 minutes. It's just my lucky good luck. That's a... Generally, I got great luck like that. But I think I will stick around to because the White House is one of the cooler monuments in the world. So, and it would be a shame to be missing it by 30 or 40 minutes.
I'm in Lafayette Square with the statue of Andrew Jackson on the horse here. Right in front of the White House, you can see right behind me there. There's Jackson. famous historical St. John's Church, which is right over here. every single American president since James Madison has attended services here. It's known as the President's Church. And if you're not a history buff like I am, it goes George Washington, John Adams, who both were in Philadelphia, and Thomas Jefferson was the third president, and then James Madison was the fourth president. So we're on 45 with Joe, uh, 46 with Joe Biden now, 45 with Donald Trump. So from the fourth president to the 46th president of all attended services here. That's some history. St. John's Church, the Church of the Presidents. And it's just a short, short walk from the White House to Lafayette Square. Like this is about as close as I'm gonna get to the other side of the White House. Got the road blocked off for anybody that's not got special clearance or something. So. Yeah, that sucks. But there's the other side from pretty far away. And I'll head back to the mall in a few minutes here. You can see the Washington Monument down the way. And behind that, the Jefferson Memorial. I found this spot, which I think might be a little bit better of an angle. The fence is not blocking it so much. And if I use my zoom here, I can get into it pretty well there. So, yeah. 
Here's the White House, and I'm in the middle of what's called the elliptical, which is a little field in front of the White House. There's nobody here. Everybody else is along that little road that's blocked off. But I found if you go back a little bit, back here, you can get a better viewpoint. So, not bad. West end of the mall, Lincoln Memorial, Vietnam Memorial, Korean Memorial, and all that good stuff. And you can actually go to the top of the Washington Monument. Great views out all over DC, including looking straight down at the White House there. There's an airplane taking off from Reagan National Airport. Just across the Potomac River. The next monument we'll be coming up to is just over there. You can see the World War II Memorial.
believe in the summertime this is filled with water in the middle here but it looks like they've drained it for the winter time services they have stoked the furnaces and hurried the factory wheels they have made the planes and welded the tanks riveted the ships and rolled the shells president franklin d roosevelt starts off with the virgin islands the philippines puerto rico different american territories at the time goes through every state in alphabetical order. It looks like, nope, it's not alphabetical order. I don't know what order it is, and it starts off with Alaska and Arizona, but Oklahoma and Wyoming and Washington certainly are not alphabetical order, but anyway, it does go through the states. South Dakota, Colorado, Nevada, Kansas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. It's a pretty grand memorial. It's pretty huge, too. D-Day, June 6, 1944. A quote from Eisenhower, General Eisenhower at the time. You are about to embark upon the great crusade which have, which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. Pacific over there, which would be MacArthur. I'm assuming they'll have a quote from MacArthur then over there, since he was the supreme commander over all, all allied forces in the Pacific. It's really a great memorial. It's a shame they didn't build it before 2004 when more veterans from the World War II were still around. There were still quite a few in 2004, but it would have been nice if they would have built it in, within 20, 30 years after the war ended. Here we mark the price of freedom. debt to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. America will never forget their sacrifices. Harry S. Truman became president after Franklin Roosevelt died in office. He was not assassinated. He was just old. I figured, I figured this side must have a MacArthur quote. The war's end. Today the guns are silent. A great tra tragedy has ended. A great victory has been won. The skies no longer rain death. The seas bear only commerce. Men everywhere walk upright in the sunlight. The entire world is quietly at peace. I should have stayed that way, but here's some, yeah. Guam, Philippine Sea, Peleliu, which was an absolutely brutal battle that 
it's not as famous as it should be. Leyte Gulf, the biggest sea battle in history. Luzon, Manila, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, Japan. That's the path to victory on both sides. That's really cool. Battle of Midway, June 4th to 7th, 1942. That's the battle that turned the tide against the Japanese. They had no right to win, yet they did. And in doing so, they changed the course of a war. Even against the greatest of odds, there is something in the human spirit, a magic blended of skill, faith, and valor that can lift men from certain defeat to incredible victory. And here it goes around. All the way to Hawaii, Guam, American Samoa in the end there. Utah, New Mexico, District of Columbia. Oh. Very cool memorial. Would have loved to have been here to visit with some of the veterans. I really like talking to veterans and picking their brains about what they went through. down at the end there. Next, we should be coming up to the Vietnam War Memorial. along the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. But first, before we get to the Lincoln Memorial, we'll head just over to the right here and see the Vietnam War Memorial. We are just off to the right side of the Lincoln Memorial. And this is the Vietnam War Memorial. the name of every service member that was killed during the war. Massive 
massive disadvantage. I was just talking to a couple of Vietnam veterans right now. Really enjoy having conversations with the veterans. Okay, now straight ahead is the Lincoln Memorial. footage of it at night as well when it's lit up but this is, uh, this is definitely one of the more popular if not the most popular memorials on the mall Obviously, it's one of the coolest looking ones and Abraham Lincoln's a very popular president as well and it has prime location See once you get to the top of those stairs, you get a great view out over the Capitol and the Washington Monument. And a number of great speeches have been made here, like Martin Luther King's "I Have a Dream" speech. And of course, let's not forget Forrest Gump's "War in Vietnam" speech. See the Korean War Veterans Memorial. Here's the Lincoln Memorial from the back of the American painting. And of course, the picture of the Lincoln. Go this way to the Korean War Memorial. Coming up to the 
Korean War Memorial. Looks like they're doing some kind of repairs to it. But here it is straight up ahead. It looks like they're going to add a wall with a name similar to the Vietnam Memorial. It's going to be over there it looks like. Anyway, here's the memorial. The original memorial. Maybe the wall's gonna go around it. Add to it a bit. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. Korea, 1950 to 1953. Yep. These brave men are the only reason why South Korea is not like North Korea right now. Why they're free and prosperous. We really put that country up a lot. And, uh, there's some great people that did a lot for a nation many of the time and didn't even know existed. Korea also was a war that really was the first war where we fought without a fair fight with our hands tied behind our back. Massively outnumbered by Chinese and North Korean troops. They couldn't break through our lines, couldn't push us back out of <coughs> the DMZ now. The kill rate was about 20 to 1 for American soldiers compared to Chinese and North Koreans. When we entered the war, they had taken all of South Korea, <coughs> except for the little area around Busan or Busan. And MacArthur had a brilliant strategy where he came back around at Incheon and cut off their forces. The Chinese ambushed us, but we regathered our troops and pushed them back out of Seoul again. And retook. Now I'm working my way around what's called the Tidal Basin, which is a body of water. And up next, we come to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Basin on the far side of it is the Jefferson Memorial. But first, we'll go to the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial. You can see we started our day here of the Ulysses S. Grant Memorial. 
in the Capitol reflecting pool looking at the Capitol. We came past the Smithsonian Museums on both sides over here. And we got to the Washington Monument. And we went up to the White House. First we went up to Lafayette Square. And then we came back down through the ellipse. Here to the World War II Memorial, the Vietnam Memorial, the Lincoln Memorial. We worked our way back over here along the Tidal Basin to the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. And we're about to hit the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial here. And then over to the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was a big hero to those that fought in World War II and the people of that generation. Thomas Jefferson, the third American president. And he was the one responsible for the Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition. So he more than doubled the size of our country, almost tripled it. He made us an active Navy to fight Barbary pirates who were kidnapping and enslaving our men in North Africa. He is the main reason why we have religious freedom, freedom of religion and freedom from religion. And uh, he is also the author of the Declaration of Independence. Declaration of Independence. The famous words, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That is Mr. Jefferson. And I could go on and on with his many accomplishments. As we approach the Jefferson Memorial, you'll notice these monuments are designed of past empires. The Washington Monument, designed like an Egyptian obelisk. The Lincoln Memorial, like the Parthenon in Greece. And the Jefferson Memorial is designed like the Pantheon in Rome.
finish my day where I started at the Capitol building, this time all lit up at night.